Hey guys, we're back again with another Wii homebrew guide, except this time we're going to be covering ModMe. And ModMe is pretty exciting because if you've ever modded your system in the past and you've done things like the CIOS installer, you know that it takes a little bit to finish the homebrew setup, but ModMe takes most of that process away from you and it actually makes things a lot faster. So I'm excited to show you guys how to use it. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing you need is to have an SD card. I'm currently using a 128 gigabyte SD card, but you can use something smaller if you want. Preferably, in my opinion, nothing under eight gigabytes because you're gonna wind up replacing that in the future with something bigger whenever you decide to play games or whatever. So you might as well get something that's going to be useful to you from the start. And uh, the next thing we need to do, assuming you have your SD card, is to make sure your settings are all correct on your Wii. So that includes making sure your date and time are correct. So 323 is actually the current date for me, but we just had the time change here in the state. So it's actually 238. So I'm gonna go into Wii options, go to Wii settings and let that load. We're gonna go to calendar, go to time, and I'm just gonna up this by an hour. Hit confirm and back. The next thing we wanna do is make note of our system version, which I'm running version 4.3U. This also works for E and J, and I think it actually works for 4.1 and 4.2, so that's pretty cool. But just make sure you make note of the version you're running and then go over to the next page, go to internet. And if you can, you wanna make sure your console is connected to the internet. This is an optional step, but we're gonna be using the Homebrew browser later, which will let you download Homebrew applications directly to your system. If you don't care about that though, you can skip this. Let's go back. And the next thing we're gonna need is our console information. This is gonna give you your Mac address. You're gonna to wanna to write this down and we're gonna take this over to the PC. And that's pretty much it for the console for now. I'll see you guys over on the computer. Okay, so to start things off on the PC, there's a couple of things we're gonna need to download. And I'll leave a link down in the description below for everything that I'm talking about here today. So we're gonna grab the FAT32 format tool. If your SD card is over 32 gigabytes, you're gonna need this tool to format your SD card to FAT32. If you're under 32 gigabytes, you're not gonna need this tool and I'll go over more of that later. I'm just gonna click the image here and hit keep if you have that option. Next link we have is for ModMe. Now, if you look down below here where it says installation, it says your browser or antivirus software may flag ModMe as malware. This is a false positive. ModMe does not contain any malware. And I know for me, my antivirus software does pick it up. So I'm gonna turn mine off. Probably gonna be a different step for you depending on your antivirus software, but I have Bitdefender. So let me just open this up. I'm gonna go to protection, go to antivirus, go to advanced and I'm gonna turn off Bitdefender Shield for 30 minutes and hit okay. You can exit out of this and we'll continue on where we were. So right here for requirements where it says mod me, go ahead and click that link. Scroll down and there's another one here that says English installer, go ahead and click that. And close out of this tab here. And the next one we have is the homebrew browser. Now mod me can actually install the homebrew browser. I just think it's faster to do it yourself. So I'm just gonna grab the file here where it says download file. And now we can start setting up our SD card. Okay, you can see I have the downloads folder open on the right, and I just want to show you my SD card right here. It's WeSD and it's Drive F. We're going to go ahead and format this to FAT32. Now, if your SD card is under 32 gigabytes, you can right click, go to format, and right here for file system, FAT32 should be an option, and then you can just hit start. If you're over 32 gigabytes, you're going to need this tool, so we're going to open up GUI format. You're going to find your drive letter, which for me that's F, so I'm going to go to F. Right here, it even says my volume label, and then you're gonna hit start, hit okay. And if you get an error like this, it's because it doesn't like having other windows open. So you're gonna have to probably close this window and I'm assuming the other window as well. Yep, so let's close this and hit start. That's exactly what it was. But now our SD card is formatted to FAT32. So let me just set those windows back up again. Okay, so now we have our SD card here, which is all set. We're just gonna open that up and it's blank on the inside. We can delete the GUI format tool. We're all set with that. While we're here, we have the zip file for the homebrew browser. We can just right click, go to extract to, and then we can delete the zip file. And then after that, we can go ahead and start mod me installer. Go ahead and double click on this, let it load, go to next, next again. And right here, this is just a preference of mine. I don't want to start menu folder, but I'm allowing the desktop icon. That's fine. I'm gonna hit next. And when it's all done, you just hit finish and this will launch mod me. 
and now this is where the fun begins basically so right here it says please type the word i follow by the word agree with a space between those two words and then press enter to continue if you can't follow those instructions then you have no business modding anything so go ahead and hit i agree hit enter give this a moment now we have a bunch of options we can look at here but we're really interested in the first one where it says w mod me wizard start here to mod your wii v wii or wii u so if we just type in the letter W and hit enter, it'll start up the next page. What console would you like to soft mod? And again, W is for Wii, so I'm gonna hit W, enter. Is this your first time soft modding your Wii or would you like to update all your existing soft mods? So right now I have a vanilla Wii, so I'm just gonna hit Y for yes. And now it's gonna ask you for your current system menu version. And we noted this in the beginning, mine is version 4.3, I'm gonna hit enter. What is your region? I'm in the US, so I'm gonna hit U for USA. And then it's going to ask you to select the exploit you want. You have X, which is straight to hacks, which is uh, no disk or SD card needed, but requires an internet connection. And then you have W, which is basically a letter bomb, no disk needed, but requires an SD card. So I'm going to do W for Wii brand. And now it's going to ask you for our Mac address that we wrote down. And these are the acceptable ways that you can write it in there. You can j jumble it all together or write it like this, however you want to do it. But let me just go ahead and type mine in. And when that's all set, just go ahead and enter. It's going to validate your Mac address. And the next step, it's going to say, would you like to download active iOS's? And right here, it says, if you're unsure, there's no harm in saying yes. It just may take a little bit longer. So let's just go ahead and hit Y for yes. It's going to say, select the new system menu you'd like to upgrade or downgrade to. And I'm staying on version 4.3. And it says right here, note, if your current system menu equals the new system menu, a system menu is not downloaded. So I'm just going to hit 4.3, hit enter. And now it's going to ask you if you want any additional channels installed, like the photo channel, the internet channel, the me channel, or the shopping channel. I have all these already. If you want these, you can select them, but I'm going to hit N for no. And now it's going to say, would you like to install a custom Wii theme? This is completely optional, up to you. I'm going to do no on this, but if you'd like to see what these uh, four themes are, I think it is here, you can go ahead and hit www, hit enter. This will open up a new web page with a YouTube video for each theme, so you can check those out and see if you're interested in that. I'm going to go minus, but I'm going to hit no. I don't want any of these, so N, enter. Would you like to set up USB loader now? If you ever want to play Wii games or GameCube games from a USB hard drive, you're going to need to do this, so go ahead and hit Y for yes. Now you have two options here, basically. You can do the third one for configurable USB loader, but most people really do USB loader GX or Wii Flow. Uh, USB Loader GX is easier to use while WeFlow has a more um, in-depth setup. I do have a video on that for anyone who's interested. I'll leave either a link for that down below or something up top for you guys to see. But let's just keep it simple. We'll go with USB Loader GX and hit 1. Go to Enter. Where would you like to save your USB Loader app? We're going to do the SD card since that's what we're doing here today. So I'm going to do SD and Enter. Are these settings correct? And just going to give you a rough overview of everything you did. I'm going to do Y for yes. And now right here it says caution, the version of the D2X CIOS selected in ModMe's options is V11 Beta 3. It is not the recommended default version, which is V11 Beta 2. Would you like to revert to the default option now? And since that's what it says for me, if I'd like to revert to the default option, that's what I'm going to do. You might not have this option in the future because I'm assuming Beta 3 might be standard soon, but I'm going to go ahead and hit Y to revert to Beta 2. And now it's going to ask you where you'd like to copy it from. Now this part's pretty cool. So right here I have my SD card open on the left and it's blank. If you just click this right up top, it gives you the drive letter location. So you can just copy this and paste it right in here and then hit enter. And now it's going to say begin download now. Now go ahead and press Y. This will generate a written guide and start downloading all the things you need. And you'll see that slowly probably populating in the SD card on the left. So hit Y and enter. And this part might take about five minutes or so. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, and when everything's finished, you can just hit E and then enter, and that'll exit out of this. And you should have your SD card all fully structured here, which is pretty cool. If I go ahead and click this, it'll probably restructure it how it looks. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is just add the Homebrew browser. Again, you can use ModMe to do that, but when you can just open up your apps folder, go to the Homebrew browser, and just open the apps folder, toss the Homebrew browser in, and you're all set. So now we can take the SD card out and head back over to the Wii. All right, so back on the system with the SD card inserted, all you have to do is just head over to your messages, go back a date, and assuming that your date and time is correct, all you're gonna do is just click this message that appears, 
and this will take you to the HackMe installer. So just give it a moment to load up. It's going to give you this message here telling you if you paid for the software, you've pretty much been scammed. And it's going to make you read it maybe for like 20 seconds. So I'll see you shortly. And when you get the option, just press the one button to continue. And you should hopefully get a message that says the homebrew channel can be installed and boot me can be installed. Go ahead and press continue and we'll start off with installing the homebrew channel. Now, if your Wiimote doesn't work at this time, you can use a GameCube controller if your uh, Wii has the ports for that. Uh, but I'm going to go over to install, hit A on that, go to yes to continue and let this install. Hit A to continue again. And now we're going to head over to boot me. Now you have two options for boot me. You can boot me as boot two and you can use boot me as iOS. Ideally, you should do both. But uh, Wii's that are made, I believe, after 2008 have a problem installing boot me as boot two. So uh, let's go ahead and give that a shot. I know mine can, so I'm going to press A to continue. If yours cannot install it as boot two, it's not a problem. You can still continue on with the guide. It just means you lose a layer of brick protection. But we're going to be fixing that later with preloader anyways. So don't worry about it. You can uh, skip that step if you, this uh, doesn't apply to you. Give this a moment though for it to finish. And when it's done, you can just hit A to continue and then go down to boot me as iOS. Notice here after I installed it, it's blank. There's no message saying that it's installed. I'll touch on that in a second. Go ahead and install boot me as iOS, hit yes to continue. Hit yes to continue again. A to continue once you see success. And now for this one, see how it gives you an option to uninstall? Just because you don't see it here doesn't mean it doesn't work. If you like exit out of this and boot back into this, you'll have that option to uninstall. So don't worry, it did install. Uh, but once that's done, just go to return to main menu, go to exit, and we're all set with this. And now we're in the homebrew channel. Now there's a couple of things we're gonna have to run. Let's go ahead and go over to the right. Actually, you know what, before we start, uh, let's go ahead and hit the home button and go to launch boot me. We'll do a, a NAND dump before we do anything else. Now, once you see the screen, your Wiimote's not going to work anymore. You're going to have to navigate using the buttons on the Wii itself. You're going to use the power button to move and then the reset button to confirm your selection. So we're going to go over into the gears in the corner there. So hit the power button until you get there. Then hit the reset button for your selection and then hit the reset button again. This is going to do a NAND dump of your system, which is basically dumping the memory of your Wii to your SD card. So just give this a moment to finish. During this process, you're probably going to see bad blocks, which is just a little black block that you can see right there on the message. Um, I'm probably going to have a bunch of these throughout the process. If you find them, it's not going to be a problem half the time. So don't worry about it too much. And uh, you'll probably see them as I fast forward through this. But I uh, will see you guys shortly. All right, when it's finished, it'll say verify succeed, hit any button to exit. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the power button. And then I'm gonna hit the power button again until I get to that back arrow, hit the reset button. And then I'm gonna hit the power button again to go to the homebrew channel and then hit reset. Give this a moment to load up. And now the next thing we're gonna do is load up preloader. So you can see the preloader installer right here. I'm gonna open this, go to load. Give this a moment. Once it's fully open, it'll say press plus to install or update preloader. So I'm gonna hit the plus button. When it's done, it'll say install done, press A to exit back to the loader. And now we wanna go take a peek at preloader. So let's go back and we have the load preloader. So let's open this, go to load. And now from here, we're gonna go down to system menu hacks and we're gonna enable a bunch of things. So let's start with block dist updates. Then we're gonna go to block online updates. Uh, we'll also do Wemify patch v4. We'll enable this as well. 480p graphic fix and system menu. If you're running an HD TV, you should enable this. Uh, region free everything. Uh, let's do remove no copy save file protection. Remove dflicker. If you're not using a CRT TV, you can go ahead and enable this. And I think that should be pretty much everything. So let's go to save settings, hit back, and then head back over to the homebrew channel. Now, next up on the list is going to be installing a few of our wads. So let's go ahead and go over to the next page open up the yet another wad manager mod me edition go to load from here it'll say select source device we sd card slot that's what i'm using so go ahead and press a and it should already put you in your wads folder but if it doesn't if i click these dots here you should be able to navigate around your sd card you can see your apps folder boot me and so on you're just going to look for your wad folder and here are the wads you're going to select so starting on the first one you're just going to hit the plus button and you're just going to keep tapping it until you get all the way down to the bottom I believe you should have 44 in total, so just give it a moment. Once I'm done, you can go ahead and select the first one, press the A button, and press A to continue. 
and you can see right up top it'll say processing wad one of 44 so just give it a moment to finish okay and when that's all set it'll say press any button to continue you can go ahead and press the a button and then the home button which will restart the wii now we're back in the homebrew channel and the next thing we're going to check out if you have wi-fi going on with your system is the homebrew browser so let's go ahead and open this up check this out now, sometimes the homebrew browser has a hard time connecting and it could be a mix of things between their server connection and just connection to your Wi-Fi. Um, so a couple of things you can try if you don't make the connect on the first attempt is reset your router box. If you're using a wired connection, try switching over to Wi-Fi. If you're using a Wi-Fi connection, try switching over to wired. Um, that's all I can really recommend. If you can't get it past that, you can always add these applications that are in here manually. It just takes an extra 10 seconds to do it. But it looks like everything's going through for me here, so just give it a moment. And when everything's all done, you'll be greeted with the Homebrew Browser menu. And I'm not going to go through this too much. I'll let you guys browse through this. But scrolling over to the right, we have the Utilities tab. And there's a bunch of stuff in here, like Disk Drive Date Checker, which will let you know basically if you have an old disk drive. And, you know, maybe it's going to be on the verge of dying soon. Uh, you can go to the Media tab. And really all I like in here personally is the Wii MC tab, which is really cool. I have a video uh, where I go into WeFlow and I add Wii MC to it. And you can watch all your movies in WeFlow with box art. So that's pretty awesome. I really like using Wii MC. Uh, you can go into games. And these are all just made by independent developers. So that you're not going to find like a Mario game in here or anything. You have like Wii Tic-Tac-Toe, Crack Attack. Uh, if you go down, there are some gems though. We have, I think... I think the uh, 3D Space Cadet Pinball, which is right there, and we also have, uh, let's keep going down, I know it's here, RuneScape, so there's tons of good stuff in here. Uh, the next thing we have is the Emulators tab, also tons of good stuff here. You have the Game Boy Emulator, you have the Genesis Emulator, Super Nintendo, and so on. These are all really easy to install if you want one of these, just click it, go to download, and it should appear in the Humber channel. Uh, other than that, I'll let you guys explore this as you want, but go ahead and hit the home button. And for me, I'm going to do reboot Wii. So just give it a moment and I'll see you soon. Now, the only reason I really wanted to do a reboot was because I wanted to show you guys you have a new channel on the home menu, which is your USB loader app. So this is just a forwarder that'll take you right into USB loader GX whenever you decide you want to configure that. And again, I have videos for all this on my channel as well. Uh, but we're pretty much all done on the Wii. We can go ahead and take the SD card out and we're gonna head over to the PC one final time. Okay, so now that we're back on the PC, all we're really doing now is just some final cleanups. And again, ModMe can do some of this, but I just find it faster to do it myself. So the first thing we're gonna do is look for our bin files. You have key.bin and nan.bin. This is your memory backup of your Wii. You're gonna transfer this to a safe spot on your PC. For me, I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. You guys can place it wherever. This is just in case your system ever bricks down the line, like if you install a bad theme or something like that you can hopefully use these to revert your console back if you need to after that's done since it's backed up you no longer need them on the sd card you can go ahead and just hit delete yes and now there's a bunch of other things we don't need too so we can start with the mod me wizard guide we're all set with that we don't need the installer log we no longer need the boot.dlf or this one the WBS folder is empty. We can keep that. That's for your Wii games. Uh, your WADs files, you don't need these anymore. You can hit Control A and then delete all of them at the same time. All 46 here. Go back. The private folder, you don't need anymore, I don't think. But uh, some mods do create a private folder. So I think I'm just going to leave this one here. Uh, controllers, you can leave. Now, Boot Me. Boot Me will start up by default every time you turn on the system now. If you don't want this to happen, all you got to do is change the name of this. So like Boot Me, I'm going to do underscore and off enter if you ever want to use boot me again you'll just have to rename this back to boot me and uh the next thing actually we're all set you can go into apps and i guess you don't need the hack me installer anymore since we don't need to you know install homebrew anymore and hit delete and i guess you don't need the preloader installer anymore either so you just need the load preloader application so after that you should be all set and good to go if you guys have any questions leave comments down below and i'll try to help you guys out the best i can but uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.